right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. We are The Source, WOCA. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. French aviation officials are saying that the plane which crashed in the French Alps did not send out a distress signal. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the 150 on board, all presumed dead. A German education official says a German high school class was on board. There were at least 16 teenagers on that plane, as well as two of their teachers. Fox's Greg Palcott, according to some reports. They were returning from a week-long exchange trip to a town outside of Barcelona. Barcelona in Spain. They were coming back to tell all their stories about their experience in Spain to waiting families at the Dusseldorf Airport. North Carolina officials say it could be months before they complete their investigation into a deadly scaffolding collapse at a construction site that killed three workers in Raleigh yesterday and higher gas prices giving consumer prices their first lift in four months. Fox News, we report, you decide. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 50-plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash info. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler. And a new yep, and we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSales.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include below charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. WOCA. 
Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are more. Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are more. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Interesting conversation with uh, Senator Ted Cruz a few minutes ago. If you missed it, you'll be able to get it on demand uh, or it'll be up at glenbeck.com or The Blaze, I'm sure, soon, if it's not already. I, I, you know, I just I pointed this out on TV last night. I would just like to point this out again for anybody who says, Glenn Beck left the GOP. Like, that was big news. Like, that was big news. Yes, I leave the GOP. I'm not going to give a dime to anybody in the GOP. I would give a dime to Ted Cruz. Well, plan, he's in the GOP. To, yes. Yeah. But he isn't the GOP. He isn't. The GOP hates his guts. That's why I would give to him, because he's not playing games with, uh, you know, uh, you know the, the, regular, uh, the regular party, uh, which I love. I love the fact that he's standing up. But I just wanted to put this back on my desk. We had this back in the property cage. This was, I mean, I don't know if you remember, for about a year I had defund the GOP up on my desk. And I turn it over and it says R.I.P. on the big elephant. R.I.P. G.O.P. Yeah. And may I just say, uh, if you look at the back of it, you'll see the G.O.P. and the O is the Obama O. And I think that is so appropriate. That's really who they are. They have just merged with the progressive left. And I just want to point out that it's the O on this particular elephant is is at the poopy hole. <laughs> That's the nice way of putting it. And that's where the poopy comes yeah. out of. Okay? No, and so what eloquent. they're shoveling yeah. is the poopy from the poopy hole. <laughs> Just want everybody to be very clear. And since you said it multiple times, they now are. Yes. Mm -hmm. that was <laughs> but also, I just for, for, for anybody who doesn't think that it, all the news people who think that this is a new stance, we also have been selling defund the GOP t-shirts for about a year. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, they're available at glenbeck.com if you would like one. Yeah, I was. Uh, this is interesting because you had uh, this big fight with uh, Carl Rove, and and on your program tonight, you're going to be doing an interview with Bill O'Reilly on your show, which is also going to air on O'Reilly's show. Yeah. Right? So tonight, during my show, it's the only time our schedules matched was during my show. So he's going to be interviewing me for his show during my show, and then tonight. later on, you'll see it on his show. Yes. Uh, uh, so you'll be able to Fox. see it from both perspectives. You'll be yeah. able to see it. From my perspective, and then later on the O'Reilly factor, you'll see it from his perspective. It's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah. Have we ever done that? It's a cool no, way to do it. Uh, yeah. No, never done that. Uh, but my, I had a. I was thinking about. But it's it. about the Carl Rove thing. Right, it's about the Carl Rove thing. Yeah. He was, you know, uh, <clears throat> you really attacked him on Facebook. But no, I did not attack him. <clears throat> yes, I stated well, facts. You said you said you were you ready to rumble, which yes. typically would be a, a fight invitation. So. I don't think it's necessarily crazy to say that you attacked him, but he, you know, comes after you and he's come after you a million times. Yes. However, in this particular thing, I wasn't exactly sure what fired you up so much. He basically made three points in there. Mm -hmm. One was, you said this before, he was actually doing, he was the only one who's listened to you, apparently. Yes. Everyone else in the media was like, I can't believe Glenn Beck is leaving the GOP. No, he, 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 he said, wasn't listening. I think he was reading the donations. Well, he I did that he, as well. That no, was no, no. I think he was reading the donor. I think he was seeing how many donors are being lost with the GOP. Right, yeah. And he's, he's attributing it to me saying, uh, I'm leaving the GOP. You should defund the GOP when it's not true. All of that is attributed to their policies. Agreed. Yes. Uh, believe me, I'm not no fan of Carl Rove yes. by any means, but he said he was the only one who seemingly knew that you weren't yes. in the GOP. Yes. Got it. He's the only one who seemingly knew that you had never donated before. That yes. was apparently a shock to everyone else except him. Yes. Uh, and he said, and the only other thing he said was basically, he said, uh, well, Ted Cruz voted in a way that you wouldn't have liked on this particular issue. And it's like, well, he's pointing out that you're not going to be 100% aligned with no, every no, he with wasn't, candidate. No, no, no. He wasn't pointing out that what he was trying to say was Ted Cruz mm -hmm. uh, Ted Cruz was saying the GOP didn't didn't have a chance of winning this anyway and so they didn't win but it's because Ted Cruz was also saying that we didn't have a chance to win and he was like we don't have a difference we don't have a difference in opinion we have a difference in strategy I have this strategy to get these things done right. Glenn has this strategy to get these things done no Carl you don't have any intention of getting those things done because if you really believed those things you wouldn't be backing people like like Jeb Bush you wouldn't be attacking people like Ted Cruz you would you would step back and yeah. you would realize you know the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results yeah you're okay. doing the same thing over and over again and that's what pissed me off was the fact that he really you know we're not progressive we're not progressive we just have a difference of opinion on strategy no no we don't right so it's more of his body of work than that particular Correct. interview. And not just him. Yeah. Not just okay. him. You know, John Boehner and and uh, and uh, uh, Mitch McConnell and all of them. Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. John McCain. John McCain Peter King Jeb is Bush. driving oh, me out of my mind. He's the worst. <laughs> Peter King has been the biggest loudmouth lately. What what got he's, into him? Uh, maybe we only heard him on no, issues of the war. Yeah, maybe Iraq where, where he was really good. Because when he steps out on any other issue... He sucks. And this is why we have to Sounds be really, like a Democrat. This is why we have to be really careful because we only listen to him on things of war and and the way the Republicans fight war is a progressive way to fight the war. And mm -hmm. we have to be careful of the Peter Kings of the world and the John McCain's of the world. Just because they might be good on defense, they're bad on strategic defense. They're bad on on um you know, we're going to bring democracy to the whole world. No, that's not our job, man. And everything else. Yeah. And everything else. Uh, yeah. Right. So, uh, so listening to them on defense, yes, they're better than the left, but they're the ones who got us into this mess in the first place. They're the ones who have 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 said we're going to, we're, you know, look at what look. South America hates our guts. They hate us. Why? Because the GOP a hundred years ago said we're going to we're going to. We're going to use the CIA and we're going to use whatever we have, whatever means we have to get the dictators in there that are good for us. Well, no, that's none of our business, man. It's none of our business. What are we doing? So we have to be really careful of the Peter Kings of the world. But he's making himself. I mean, he's clear. And think about this. When do Democrats ever do this? Ever. I think we've made this point in the past. They, they never attack their own. You never see a moderate like... 
uh, like Manchin from, is it West Virginia? Virginia? Yeah. Talk about Elizabeth Warren, who's an extreme left wing person, and attack her. On no, they don't attack the MSNBC or no. Fox News. They never do that. No, they don't attack the never progressives, but they do attack people like uh, uh, Joe uh, Lieberman when he leaves. Oh yeah, when well, he leaves. When he, leaves. Yeah. when he says, when he yeah, says, when you he know, was when in the party, are... he was pretty okay. Yeah, he was pretty okay. They left him alone for the most yeah. part, but uh, you see this all the time in the Republican Party. Well, if wait anybody a minute, steps on, out a and and actually stands up for their principles. They get this kind of treatment. Right. And the only reason why, you know, because some people will say, well, Glenn Beck, what are you doing? Well, I, I tried to work within the party for the last five years. We've been we've been saying, you know, let's go in. Let's put these. Let's go find these constitutionalists, put them in. But when you put them in, it's the party that does things like they did to Chris McDaniel with Chris McDaniels. Yeah. And they destroy the people who d- will not play the game with them. So they've they've said they won't. They won't uh, accept new blood. They won't do it. They don't like it, and they'll destroy them. And instead, they go after Democrats in a state like Mississippi to get Democrats to vote for a Republican who did unspeakable things to animals. And they prefer that over a fresh, yeah. principled new guy. Yeah. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's insane. But here's what Peter King said about Ted Cruz. Uh, we have very, very complex issues facing the country today. And he goes out of his way to oversimplify. For instance, to say yeah, that, that Obamacare, we could end Obamacare in effect by not funding it and shutting down the government is absolutely wrong. That's a you wrong signal to send. We need intelligent debate in this country. Now, hey, Ted Cruz may be stop an intelligent person. Stop for a second. We have to shut down Obamacare and the, and the government? No, just defund Obamacare. It's really quite easy to do. Defund Obamacare. Yeah, he's saying that can't be done. Right? Yeah, because well, why? people like why? him were opposing it. That's right. right. That's, That's why right. it can't right. be done. That's right. If yeah. if he would have done, if he wouldn't have bailed on the on the strategy, it then could it have been done. been done. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and as much as they wanted to say that Barack Obama was one of the smartest guys ever to walk the face of the earth, it's just not true. It's just not true what? in comparison. How dare you say In that? comparison to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has, he'll show you the transcripts. He'll show you his grades. He'll show you what he's done. He wasn't a community organizer that floated through college while smoking dope. This is a guy who actually applied himself. Yeah, but he did hang out with Marxist professors, right? No, he didn't. Like and, he was, and he was no? number one in his he's class in weird. both Harvard and Princeton, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, this guy is brilliant. And to his, say that he's simple-minded is ridiculous. And I have his thesis sitting on my desk, by the way. You Ted should Cruz's read it. thesis. Well, that's why I have it. But yeah, I have not read it yet. I it's, talked to Robbie George yesterday. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Uh, he, was, he was fantastic. Robbie George is the pr- professor at Princeton who, on the front cover of the thesis, it says, submitted to Robbie George. Yeah. So I called him yesterday, and we had him on the TV show. And I said, so, you know, uh, you know what was he like? And he said... He said he used to come in. Um, he said, you know, people think that he's, you know, closed minded, doesn't want to hear the other side. He said because he was in a debate class, he has to know the other side. So he's really, really interested in really, truly understanding the other side first, because that's the way he was raised to think. And uh, uh, he said, so we would he said, if anybody would would have listened to us in our conversations, they would have thought we hated each other. He said, because one of us would pick the other side and we would argue the other side. He said, so we spent all of our time just arguing back and forth with one of us playing the, you know, the the Barack Obama role, somebody who didn't like the Constitution. <laughs> and uh, he said, if you would listen to us and you just didn't know what we were doing, he said, you would have thought we hated each other. He said, he is a great, well thought out thinker. More from Peter King. But he doesn't carry out an intelligent debate. He oversimplifies, he exaggerates. He doesn't carry yeah. out an, an intelligent idiot. debate. He finished second in the world. Yeah, right? second in the world. He for won the United States competition. They, they, they have his, in his, in, at Princeton for the debate team, they have the Ted Cruz Award. 
That's how good he was. Yeah. And yeah. this jolt Jeez. who, who yeah. can't get through oh, a coherent gosh. argument to save his life is going to criticize Ted Cruz's yeah. intelligence. intelligence. Is and his I, lack of ability to debate. Oh. And uh, he basically uh, led the Republican Party over the cliff mm. in the fall of 2013. Wait, stop, stop, no. stop. Because that this... 2014 election really was off the cliff, wasn't <laughs> yeah, it? wasn't it? Oh, what a disaster that was. Uh, yet another wave election. <laughs> oh, no. Another For Republican I have wave to tell election. You, I, I really think, Idiot. guys, if we He's the worst. three three seven three three mm-hmm. is the text that you text Constitution or Imagine mm-hmm. or whatever three three seven three three you text that and volunteer your time for Ted Cruz. Uh, I'm telling you, they don't know what's coming. They just don't know what's coming. They're gonna take. They're gonna try every dirty trick in the book. The Republicans and the Democrats and the press. But if they have to go through you. If you if you line up right now and we just start to link arms, they're just not going to know what hit them. It's going to be it's going to be 2010 all over again. There is a chance that Ted Cruz builds a coalition that is as unstoppable as the Obama administration built in that first year in 08. There is there is a chance that we build the same exact thing, except it's not built on lies and deceit and it'll be unstoppable. Stoppable if you don't listen to the media and to the Republicans and the Democrats eventually. Qualifications, no legislation being passed. Doesn't no qualifications, no legislation. He, he led the fight on virtually every important issue. Provide leadership, and he has no real experience. So to me, okay. uh, he's just a, a guy with a big mouth uh, and uh, <laughs> This no guy is criticizing yeah, somebody that? else for having a big mouth. The, the guy pot. with the biggest, fattest mouth on, on earth is criticizing Ted Cruz for Mr. having a Kettle big mouth. Mr. Kettle is calling. Peter King. Oh, what Peter a tension pot. G- the GOP Mr. is, Kettle is calling. over. No. It's just over. <laughs> By the way, Ted Cruz Wait got the, the low 40s in the Hispanic vote in, when he was elected. Low 40s, percent-wise. That's much more than anybody else wow. in the Republican Party is getting. Here's our sponsor this half hour. It is Interim Health Care. Home care is one of the things that people don't want to think about until the time comes when you need it. For many Americans, it comes when you have a parent or a loved one that is less able and independent and age begins to take its toll. It's a tough conversation to have with your parent. Your mom refuses to even discuss moving into a nursing home, but you're worried about her climbing the stairs every day and she just doesn't want to give up and you don't want her to. You don't want to send her mom to a nursing home. That's where Interim Health Care comes in. The company that's been doing this for 50 years, helping people at home, the home care that a person needs, all the way from companionship to the reminders of taking your medication, light housework, preparing meals, assisting bathing and grooming, transportation, picking up prescriptions, laundry, medical appointments, all that kind of stuff. It's interim health care. Go to interimhealthcare.com slash Beck and take the free independent living assessment. Call 1-800-944-8888, 1-800-944-8888, and locate an interim office near you. It's interimhealthcare.com. Also need to tell you about Goldline. Um, Things are uh, are changing in the world. They are uh, changing rapidly. Uh, I don't know if you saw that we, we tested a nuclear missile yesterday. Did you guys see that? We launched a Minuteman 3 missile yesterday. When was the last time we did that? I don't have any idea. Hmm. But we launched it off the coast of California, and uh, all the experts are saying that this was a message to China. Back off. Wow. I mean, there's stuff going on that I don't think people really understand. It was a message to the world, and Russia as well. We have nuclear capability. Back off. It's really going to change quickly when it does. And China, because they are changing their, this is a quote, de-dollarizing the world. Once that happens, your paper is worth nothing. So please be prepared. Call Goldline now, 1-866-GOLDLINE, 1-866-GOLDLINE. That's 866-465-3546 or go to goldline.com. Glenn Beck! The Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. What would an extra $250 a month mean to you? For some, it's a little financial breathing room. For others, it's a car payment, a home repair, or help with college tuition. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I've got some great news if you're looking to save money on your mortgage. 
All it takes is a simple phone call to Quicken Loans at 800-QUICKEN to see if you qualify for the government's Home Affordable Refinance Program, or HARP. Folks who refinance with HARP can save an average of $250 a month. That's $3,000 a year. Our home loan experts fully understand the HARP guidelines, and they'll walk you through our streamlined process. And for five years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction. And this year, for the first time, they've also ranked us highest in mortgage servicing. Call 800-QUICKEN or visit quickenloans.com. Visit jdpower.com for award information. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. And home loss number 3030. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. This is the Glenn Beck program. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Could we? We we, we got to go back to uh, our conversation about uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> uh, Pat started watching it today, and and Jeffy was talking about we should we should see if we could be you know. Oh, I've I have been walkers. lobbying hard. I want to be a walker and get killed on that show bad. Oh my okay. gosh, we want that we for want you that to so happen. badly. You know, it doesn't. Just, how great it's not would real. That be to watch you be killed. Oh, really? Just to see, you know, just to see it. You know. Here's the problem, though. I, I haven't seen. I, I haven't watched a lot of the show, but uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of fat ones. Any fat ones? You know, here's the thing. Here's Is the there thing. a single fat walker? Here's the thing. I mean, they're dead. Here's the thing that has to be first for everything. Here's the thing that bothers me. <laughs> How long has this been going on? Maybe in 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 the showtime. Maybe two years. They've been out there a year. Yeah, maybe. Like okay. There's no way these guys would be as fat as they are. They had that one fat uh, black guy on there for a while. And well, he was fat. I know, but remember now he started in the prison. There was plenty of food. Uh, no, no, he was no. He, by the time he was out, you would lose weight so fast. You were, they're like they're eating worms. At some point, they're eating yeah. worms, and it's like, dude, you're, you, you, there's no way these guys. They would all be yeah really right. thin. Yeah. There was a there. There have been on the farm. There was a couple black uh, fat walkers, uh, and uh, that's about it. Let's so do you, do you think you have? I want to be a walker. You have a shot because we got to lobby for that. I've been hard. lobbying for a walk. I want to be a walker. Uh, is there any single thing we'd like to see more than than you be? No, wiped out as a no. walker. That'd you know, I, we, we should go and we should, we should go take the show out and and uh, and cover when they start shooting again. We should go take the show out and be out there. That'd be fun. Be really cool. Yeah, I mean, if the show is. Let's see if we can get. We'll see, let's see if we can get one of our audience members to be a walker. That'd be fun. 
It's a show on yeah, a- AMC. That'd be great, except that I want to do it. No, that, I know, but it'd be cooler to have some one of our <laughs> listeners do it. <laughs> yes, it would. A- AMC show that be fun. that has twenty million plus viewers. Yeah, twenty one, twenty one million. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, I don't think any show on network television has. That no, kind, you remember those kinds of numbers. No, anymore. you remember when when uh, what's it face. Uh, um, uh, gosh, what was that song? You know, with Simon, American Idol. Uh, American Idol. That, that would have 15 million people watching it, and that yeah. was that was a I think huge at its peak, deal. It was in the upper 20s, maybe 30s. And, no, I think but it's it, nowhere near no, that. Nice. No, I think the the end of season was not regular episodes. Have to look. You have to look, look it up. I huge. think regular episodes were like 15 million. Still, though, I mean, still, even if it was upper right. 20s, it's still 20, 21 million for something on AMC. I mean, it, it is. It's fantastic. And the season finale is this. Unfortunately, the season finale is this Sunday on AMC. Back in a minute. This is the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. French aviation officials are saying that the plane which crashed in the French Alps did not send out a distress signal. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the 150 on board, all presumed dead. A German education official says a German high school class was on board. There were at least 16 teenagers on that plane, as well as two of their teachers. Fox's Greg Palcott, according to some reports. They were returning from a week-long exchange trip to a town outside of Barcelona in Spain. They were coming back to tell all their stories about their experience in Spain to waiting families at the Dusseldorf airport. North Carolina officials say it could be months before they complete their investigation into a deadly scaffolding collapse at a construction site that killed three workers in Raleigh yesterday and higher gas prices giving consumer prices their first lift in four months. Fox News. We report. You decide. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 50-plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash info. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. 
That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. To receive your comparative insurance quote, contact the McDonald Agency at 622-2333. If you want to avoid getting ripped off and put more money in your pocket, then join me, Clark Howard, every weeknight at 6, right here on WOCA The Source. Visit the WOCA website at www.woca.com. Program. Here's Rand Paul yesterday on Ted Cruz. The thing is, is you know, we kind of come from the same wing of the party, and if you look at our voting records, you'll find that we're very, very similar. I guess what makes us different is probably our approach as to how we would make the party bigger. And I'm a big believer that you should stand on principle and be true to your principles, but I also think that we should take those principles and try to bring in new people with them. So I've spent the last couple years trying to go places Republicans haven't gone, and maybe not just throwing out red meat, but actually throwing out something intellectually enticing to people who haven't been listening to our message before. Now, he got out ahead of you. Uh, why weren't you first? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we're thinking about it, and we're uh, pretty close to a decision, and we'll have some kind of announcement mm -hmm. April 7th. And, uh, you know, if people go to uh -huh. Rand Paul for Kentucky or KentuckyForRandPaul.com, they can find out more about it instantaneously. Okay. All right. <laughs> Come on. That's what I, well, one the thing I do like about Ted was there was no – he wasn't like, ah, I'm thinking about it. He just did it. Yeah. I'm going to explore. I'm going to explore the choices. I'm exploring. I haven't uh, made my decision yet. Come on, Rand. You know you've made your decision. Oh, it's okay. He made Let's his go. decision two years ago. Yeah, Let's I mean, go. there's structural reasons why they do these things. Uh, usually. Yeah, what is it? But I don't know. It's usually something to do with fundraising and, and, and building your infrastructure Whatever. and such. Um, and I, I, you know, so I assume there's some now, reason they're doing it. On but. the good thing on on Rand, what Rand has done is very good. Rand has gone out and tried to get the people who are not listening. At is all. it good though? I isn't part of his outreach to Mitch McConnell supporting yeah, no, him. No, that's not good. That is not that's good. Not good. I, I'm not. I'm not I defending really, that. I hate that. Yeah, I'm not defending that. Yeah, I think we. And I think we mentioned this yesterday. But to defend, you know, Rand on this the other uh, the, the other day, he did an interview with MTV News, which was pretty. I mean, he was good. He handled a lot of kind of mm -hmm. questions you wouldn't normally get in a Republican primary. He it was easy for him, and he does that stuff very well. Yeah, he does. He does. So I does think Ted. Ted Cruz was, so does, does Ted. too. But mm -hmm. yeah, he, did, he no. does. Wait. He did, he did a good job with uh, Seth, Seth, Meyer. Seth Meyers. Yeah, yeah, he did a great job on Seth Meyers. Yeah. I didn't see the Seth Meyers. Seth tried to uh, sandbag him on global gym. warming, and uh, Cruz owned him with the facts, fortunately. Yeah. He knew the facts, and he used them. There's just a difference between uh, Rand Paul is, I mean, I'm just going on the beer drinking scale. Yes, you're just right. going on the beer drinking mm, scale. I hate the beer drinking scale. I know Some because we're never good at the chocolate, beer drinking scale. Chocolate milk drinking scale. I, I, I hate it. the chocolate milk drinking scale. I don't care I about know. sitting down with you. Them. Don't, but a lot of people do. Stop it! I'm telling everybody, stop that. Okay, <laughs> it's stupid. You're not going to get to. I, I don't know. care if it's Rand or Ted or well, Barack Obama. You're not going to sit down with them. If a police, <laughs> if you break into your own house and a police officer <laughs> acts stupidly, then you do. 
Yes. Depending on what color you are. Yes. Mm-hmm. Of and, and and if you're a friend of the president. Right. But that's all. Well, that's the only the only mm-hmm. minor difference. <laughs> no, you're right. But I mean, that was a big George Bush thing. When when Bush and Gore went at it, one of the reasons people always said that he was able to win was because Gore was he, stiff. Gore was stiff, and you want to have a beer with Bush. Mm-hmm. You know, you want you want to hang yeah. out. And, and, yeah, and unfortunately, a there is a, there's a lot to be said for that. And and Ted does not have that in spades. Rand does. Rand, Rand does. Is, he's pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah. he's the, he's the uh, best you know, Republican uh, probably uh, at it. Jeb is also probably okay at it. Yeah, he's okay. Rubio at it. maybe is okay. Is. I mean, Rubio's uh, mm. he, Rubio's pretty solid when it comes to he's he's Beer an engaging drinking. speaker. I mean, and I mean, he's one of those guys. I think Cruz he doesn't is though, have too. that hanging with with your style though. No, no, Rick Santorum. Uh, no, and that was you know that was one of the knocks on on Mitt, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I don't want to have any postum with him. I, I don't want to sit down and have a post cup him. of postum. I won't do that because I, I don't think I would enjoy it. Yes, I don't. I can't see myself. I can't see myself hanging out on a yacht with him. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. uh, I was watching some interview yesterday. Maybe it was maybe it was your interview with Robbie George where we talked. You were talking about Reagan, and mm-hmm. um, and they he said uh, asking once Robbie George, his professor, about Reagan. And he said he Reagan's once in a lifetime guy because he had the consistency of Ted Cruz, the intelligence of Ted Cruz, but he had that. You know, he was an actor. He had that unbelievable likability oh, that yeah. is, is so difficult for any politician, mm-hmm. no matter how good they are, to achieve. Yeah. And I think Rand mm-hmm. is the closest to that that could break all lines. I think Ted's going to surprise us, especially at debates. Oh, he, Ted oh, is gonna going destroy. to destroy people at debates. He will be awesome there. Yeah, he's going to destroy people at imagine debates. Imagine Ted Cruz, Hillary Clinton. Imagine Ted Cruz, oh, Joe gosh. Biden. Oh, jeez. Can you imagine oh, debates like just, that? It wouldn't even be fair. It wouldn't be no. fair. You know, you'd have to you'd have to bring fairness into you'd have, it. Well, you'd have to do. And you'd have you'd, to. You'd, you'd have to. Tape right, Ted's mouth shut. Tonight. Right before, you'd have to <laughs> just sneak up on Ted and hit him over the head with a two by four. Mm. And right. then start the debate. <laughs> right before right before he's asked the question, you hit him over the head with a two by four. He's like, What the <laughs> And then they halfway through the question, he's like, Wait, I didn't even hear the question. Your time has already started, sir. Mm-hmm. Don't think they're not above that. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. I, so it's an interesting because I do think Rand is good at that. And I do too. Uh, and whether- And he's done a great job at reaching out to the black community, reaching out uh uh to uh the uh, libertarian, um, the youth libertarians. I mean, because as long as you understand, I mean, this is the biggest uniting principle. As long as you understand, you can be as conservative as you want and as liberal as you want, as long as the government is small as it can be. Once you understand that the government, if the government is small, we all can't tell each other what to do. And so we can then just live side by side with each other. Well, what if I don't like what you're doing? <laughs> How do I control that? Like a church thing? Yeah. Like, what if I don't like you the have church to, you go you to? Ha- what you have to do is you yeah. have to get your own police, uh-huh. and then you <laughs> come put over them to your in house your own and- jail. Okay. So you All put right. a jail. Okay. But the government is so small that I can't stop you from making your own jail for people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a small government. That's a very small government. Uh, but Cruz, though, I mean, I think shows some of this. Uh, I mean, I think it's it's a matter of time to see whether he can do it on a, on a large scale. But like in the interview he did with us, we were talking to him about him being a, you know, the king of the debate world. Mm-hmm. And he said, you point out correctly that I was not the cool kid in college. <laughs> Correct. I mean, when you could be that's a great handled answer. self-deprecation like that, yeah, that's, that's endearing to to voters, it's great. Uh, you know, beyond him, I mean, we like him because his policy is great, and he takes stands that nobody else will take. I, I have to tell you, I like him because not only because I like his policies, um, I like him because he's consistent. I like sure, the fact yeah. that he hasn't gone and played the game, nope. not once. I have not seen evidence of him throwing in and playing the game once. Have you? No. Any indication of that? Nope. <laughs> no. It's just yeah. not what he does. Uh, I mean, and his and his best friend in the Senate, Mike Lee. Mike Lee, yeah. And they've taken a beating for that too. Yeah. yeah, both of them. Yeah. And Mike Lee has done exactly the same thing. He hasn't. So again, it's just really too bad that he's from Saskatchewan. Yeah. Gosh darn it! Oh, oh God! 
You know, they pointed that out on The View. Did you see the... You're so bad. Oh, Do you have that? Oh, yeah, listen. Sorry, is that? He was not born in America. He was Canadian. born in Canada. Yeah. So how what? can he run... She did it. I actually don't get it. I'm sorry. He's going to be the least of his problems. Oh, the least of his problems? Not about how many things he's doing. I'm looking forward to this, Ted. Ted, 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 
Yeah, I mean, Unbelievable. But this discussion of it is utterly pathetic. Like, the fact it's that pathetic. this is this, this is level television. of understanding of an issue could occur on a national television show, it's it actually, uh, it's embarrassing. Yeah. It's, 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 you know it, what it is? Literally embarrassing. You know what it is? It is, it's insulting to women. Yeah. It's insulting to women. Somebody that should have women, hit the off switch at ABC and yeah, just that, shut it off. That <laughs> women, uh, that women are this stupid. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that That's right. the representation of women? That you're that stupid? That's the le- level of intellect you assign to women wow. discussing poli- political issues? Watch Dana on this network. Yeah. And, and tell me, yeah. tell me. I mean, Dana's gone on The View and dominated The View. So we know yeah, that she's why. much smarter than the people on The View. But, I mean, every night she's on here talking at depth about these issues in a much more intelligent way. And yet they throw these idiots on the, on TV to, to to gaggle as if they're making points that are coherent. I mean, this is... it's It's... Second grade nonsense. I mean, it's it's not even they're not even good political attacks. You just pissed off second graders all across the country. That's good all right, my apologies oh my to God. second wow. graders. Our ratings actually. among second graders are dropping. Oh my oh gosh, man. my apologies oh to second geez. graders for comparing you to the ladies of the View. It, it's it's. I had to apologize to worms, mm-hmm. whores, and pirates the other day <laughs> for comparing them to Carl Rove and the GOP. And our apologies today to second graders. Mm-hmm. Here's our sponsor. It's Simply Safe. Your home can be protected around the clock, and you're not locked into a contract. Now, most alarm companies will trap you. They'll play prey on your love and your concern of your family and your kids, and then they'll lock you into a long-term contract, and you're stuck with them. There's no freedom. There's no way out, even if they suck. Simply Safe is different. There are no long-term contracts, no commitments. You're free to start, stop, and cancel at any time. Now, I like this personally because I like to. Uh, I'm a control freak. I like to have control of my own destiny, but I also uh, like the fact that if something would happen in my life, I'm not locked into this contract because I know what it's like. You got to. You got to. Sometimes there are tough months, and you got to cut cost. You don't have this fifty or sixty dollar a month payment that you have to make every month uh what you can do is you can cancel first of all it's not 50 or 60 dollars it's 14.99 a month but you could cancel it if you're having a really tough month and you need to have 15 bucks for gas you can cancel it start it up again next month get peace of mind for your home go to simplysafebeck.com go there now get 10 percent off simplysafebeck.com that's simplysafebeck.com <laughs> This is the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. All loans subject to one-deck score approval must be in business at least one year to apply. If you're a small business owner in need of financing and don't have the time or the patience for your bank's lending process, speak with On Deck, the small business resource that says yes a lot more and a lot faster. Just ask Steve Hickson. Our accounting firm was in need of working capital. On Deck was terrific and came through with the funding we needed within 24 hours. It was, without a doubt, the simplest loan process I have ever experienced. At On Deck, we're 100% focused on small business loans only, and we evaluate businesses based on actual performance, not just your personal credit. Our easy application process could take just minutes and you could receive funding in as little as one business day. Less paperwork, no obligations, and a decision in minutes. On Deck has an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating and is publicly listed on the New York Stock Exchange. We provided over $2 billion in funding to businesses just like yours. So if you're a small business owner who needs business financing, go to ondecklending.com or call 800-294-2215. That's 800-294-2215. Johnny, what are you doing in the bathroom? What are you saying? Wait, where are your toy cars? Oh no, tell me you didn't. Honey, call Mike Scott Plumbing. I didn't do anything. For once, that's true, but little Johnny flushed his toys down the toilet and now it's broke. Yes, I mean, oh no, I'll get the phone. What's the toll free number? 866 314 4443. Got it. 866 314 Four 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 three. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, Woo-hoo! they do it. At Mike Scott Plumbing, from the moment you walk through the doors, it's evident that quality is key. From our fully stocked parts department to our fully trained service technicians who can help with anything from a clogged drain to your irrigation system and even servicing your entire septic system. Visit one of our beautiful showrooms in Hernando or in Wildwood and let us show you how to turn your kitchen and bath dreams into reality. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. 
Hey, Matt. I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. The best Easter traditions are passed around the table again and again, and with a fully cooked, ready-to-serve honey-baked ham, it helps you get Easter dinner on the table quick as a bunny. Nothing comes close to honey-baked. For starters, every honey-baked ham is fully cooked and ready to serve, and underneath that sweet, crunchy glaze is the leanest, most flavorful, moist, and tender ham you'll find anywhere. Add a luscious turkey breast, pot roast, or baby back ribs with our delicious casserole dishes and desserts, and voila, dinner is served. One-stop shopping, no stress, an Easter dinner guests will rave about, and time for the cook to enjoy the day. It doesn't get any better or more delicious than that. Place your order today and grab one of Honey Baked Ham's scrumptious sandwiches to go or dine in. Also, you can make any staff or client meeting special with Honey Baked Ham's box lunches delivered right to your door. Call us now to place your order at 861-0011. That's 861-0011. Or join us in the store at 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue, right behind Best Buy. Located next door to Silver Spring State Park and a few minutes from historic downtown Ocala, our award-winning Holiday Inn Express Hotel and Suites of Silver Springs is the place to stay for a friendly, memorable, and fun experience. Enjoy our fast and free Wi-Fi, complimentary hot breakfast, and free parking. Whether you're in town for work or play, our friendly staff will make you feel right at home. That's the Holiday Inn Express and Suites of Silver Springs. Proud sponsor of College of Central Florida Basketball on WOCA The Source. The Glenn Beck Program. We have a Grover update, even a Super Grover update. Grover Norquist, uh, we have um, uh, we rescheduled our expose on Grover Norquist uh, to tomorrow on the Blaze TV. Uh, it's really important that you watch this. This is a guy who the GOP loves. He's a guy that is wildly influential. He's a guy there who's like, oh, I love his low tax policy. He's a very dangerous man, I believe. Um, he is a, uh, an agent of influence for the Muslim Brotherhood. He uh, assists the Muslim Brotherhood. Whether it's knowingly or unknowingly, you will decide tomorrow. Now, we reached... We reached out to uh, Grover uh, last week and asked him if he wanted to be on the show. They at first said yes, and then they started to put all kinds of conditions on it. And we said, there's no conditions. And they said, well, uh, we'll discuss this and we'll let you know Monday. And we said, end of day Monday is the last opportunity if you want to be on. They never called us back. So Grover has decided not to be on to answer the charges. Wow. Because I was going to hold his feet to the fire. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Um, but you need to watch this episode. It is tomorrow night at 5 o'clock, only on the Blaze TV. Grover's Connections. You're listening to the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. You're looking forward to a tax refund? So are identity thieves who steal refunds by filing fraudulent tax returns. Last year alone, they stole more than an estimated $5 billion from hardworking Americans just like you. Once an identity thief gets a hold of your tax forms, all of the information they need to steal your identity and even your life savings is right there. Help protect yourself with LifeLock Ultimate Plus. And while no one can stop all identity theft and nobody can monitor everything, Every single business. LifeLock Ultimate Plus provides their most comprehensive identity theft protection available. So if you're filing taxes this year, especially if you're filing online, do what I did. Get LifeLock Ultimate Plus. Visit LifeLock.com slash Beck now or call and use the promo code Beck and save 10% on your LifeLock Ultimate Plus membership. 1-800-440-4936. That's 1-800-440-4936. 1-800-440-4936. 
100 million viewers experienced the wonder of the epic miniseries, The Bible. Now comes the next thrilling chapter, A.D., The Bible Continues, premiering Easter Sunday, April 5th on NBC. The story begins as Jesus is put on trial. You'll literally walk in the steps of the apostles in the first century Judea, A.D. 33, a time of great danger. The Romans are beginning to lose their grip on power. The temple leaders don't know what to do, and right there in the middle of it are Jesus' disciples. You'll experience the events that ignited a rebellion and changed the world. A.D., the Bible continues. It's big, epic, and filled with action and stunning special effects. It's Game of Thrones meets the Bible. This is a 12-episode television event everyone will talk about. From the producers Roma Downey and Mark Burnett, A.D., the Bible continues. Premiering Easter Sunday, April 5th, only on NBC. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service. Hello, 24-7. They have celebrities. Hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. In a study involving more than 2,000 people, those with slimmer waistlines showed higher cognitive ability than those who were overweight or obese. Our pets improve our character and make us much better people. If your partner's the one who's stressed out, we know that you will be 25% more likely to be affected than a stranger would be. Yeah, be careful because stress is contagious. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. The black box from a German jet that crashed in the French Alps has been found for analysis. The plane never sent a distress signal, according to the French Aviation Authority. The plane was heading from Barcelona, Spain to Dusseldorf, Germany. All 150 people on board are feared dead. German wing CEO saying it will take time to figure out what went wrong, but he says the plane had been flying for about 40 minutes and had just reached its cruising height when it suddenly began an eight-minute descent before crashing. Fox News Radio's Simon Owen. The Israeli government denied a Wall Street Journal report of spying on closed-door U.S. nuclear talks with Iran, and House Speaker John Boehner says... I'm not aware of that at all. And the organic food company Amy's Kitchens recalling 74,000 cases of products with spinach over possible listeria contamination. Fox News, we report. You decide. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can with ZipRecruiter.com. You can post your job to 50 plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash info. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, the source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep, and neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, the source. 
Hey, Matt. I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offered is not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are Buzz Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Buzz Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Okay. I want to read a story to you. I want to read an actual children's book that I think you're going to love. Now, not a lot of people would say, Glenn, they, they, Glenn what are, you're reading a storybook for children. Yes, I think sincerely. You're going to love the message of this new oh, children's book. Good. I have two small kids. This could be something maybe I could share yes. with them. That's story time. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sister Apple, Sister Pig. Oh, cool. It's the name of it. 
Lee knows this. Vegetables make a good mask or a good meal. I like them better as a mask. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama helps Lee make a mask from the chard by holding it up to Lee's face. (laughs) Where are you, Lee? Oh. (laughs) This is Papa. Papa hoists Lee up to the clothesline so Lee can hang the dripping wet kale on the line to dry. Next, Lee climbs the ladder. Lee asks Papa, Is my sister in that tree? You could find your sister in that tree if you wanted to, muses Papa. Lee is is Papa and Mama's only child for now, although Mm. there once was a sister. But Um, Papa and Mama couldn't keep her. Where does sister live now? In a pumpkin shell. And there was Soon, Lee spices a rosy apple on the highest branches. Is that my sister? asked Lee. If you'd like the apple to be your sister, Papa replies, but the winter is long and you would have to eat her. Oh, what? Lee, hmm? eat Excuse your- me? You'd have to eat you'd have your, to your, eat your, your, your so, sister. Okay, so I just want to get the story straight. So, so there, there was some, a sister, some, and the sister's been lost. Right. Okay. okay. And Papa's saying that you could it, find the Potentially some cannibalism. Tree. You could find the tree. She could be that apple. Right. You don't know. Go she ahead could and eat her if she is. Though. Yeah. Lee is held up to the apple. Yeah. Lee knocks the fruit down, gathering the apples from the grass. Nah, exclaims Lee. The apple is not my sister. The pigs will eat the apple. But the apple is not my sister. Smart kid. Yeah. Smart Lee kid. And pick, Papa, that, pick that up. Lee and Papa bring the apple to the pig pen. It's a short <laughs> tromp down the hill through the grass. Lee declares, the pig is my sister. Papa holds Lee hand in his own, so Papa feeds the pigs by himself. If you'd like the pig to be your sister, explains Papa as he feeds the swine, be my guest. But you will eat her fried, stewed, or baked. Oh, my. Again, Lee, eating the sister. Yeah. I'd also like to tell Papa that just because he wants the pig to be his sister doesn't make the pig his sister. Oh, you haven't gotten to the good part yet. Okay. Lee finally has an answer. No, Lee, no, the pig is not my sister. Look at the pig's behind. That's not my sister's behind. <laughs> the pond is further down the path. From How does he the- know if the sister's lost? You'll hear. Okay. The pond is further down uh, the path from the pigeon. There, Papa takes Lee in his arms. Papa, why must I be in your arms, complains Lee. Papa points to the dark pond. I do not want you to drown. You do not know how to swim yet. Lee says, does my sister live there? Do you want her to, said Papa. Well, she used to live in Mama, but doesn't anymore. She doesn't live with us, Lee explains to Papa. Uh Uh-oh. That's right, Papa says. Mm -hmm. She briefly lived in Mama. Lee has more to say. She lived before me, but Mama couldn't keep her. Mama says she's a ghost. Uh Uh-oh. See where we're going here? Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that a while ago. Papa (laughs) considers everything Lee has to say. Un- Real. Yep. Does that make you sad or scared? No. Let's go play ball, says Lee. They play. They flip. They flip rad flips. Lee seizes a stick. Lee pokes it in the air. The air is full of sunlight. The stick is forked like a divining rod, a branch used to locate water. Lee tells Papa, I'm not sad that my sister is a ghost. If you kept my sister, (laughs) if you kept my sister, you would be tired and sad and mad. Oh, my God. Why, wondered Papa. Unbelievable. Because we would be wild and loud, and sometimes we would fight. Mama might be scared that she could not buy enough food for us. Mama might not even have enough time to read to me, to paint with me, to play with me, to talk with me. Hey, what are you doing with my stick? Papa is dripping the divining rod into the pool. I want to know where the water is. I want to know how deep the water is. How deep could the water be? How cool? Is it two feet deep? Is it up to your elbow if you stick your arm in? Is it up to your knees if you jump in? Papa remembers the little sister ghost that is on Lee's mind. (laughs) Lee, you have some good reasons not to have a sister right here. But maybe you'll have another sister when there's more time and there's more money. Lee may not be listening, or perhaps Lee is speechless. Lee does not understand there is no answer. Lee calls out. Is it time for lunch? Papa understands that Lee is confused and hungry. 
Yes, it is time for lunch. Lee's mama and Lee's uncle are preparing lunch. They're washing the kale, cooking the vegetables, slicing the cheese. But it isn't quite time yet. Lee's uncle asks if Lee would like to read the book together, The Little Prince. It's a secret, whispers Lee. The secret is that she's a ghost. The ghost girl can sit behind, beside me, whispers uncle. But you can turn the pages. Okay, her ghost hands are full, giggles Lee. It's a beautiful book, gasped Lee. A snake swallows an elephant. Yes, one thing ends up in another, smiles uncle. Then a golf ball distracts Lee. Where is it? Inside the notch of the timber. It's unexpected and round, similar to the moon or an egg, but it's not. Lee's uncle asks, Why is your sister a ghost, Lee? Mama had an abortion before she had me, Lee explains to uncle. Sister is a happy ghost, says Lee to uncle. Yes, she's content to sit quietly beside us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who'd want to be born and get a body? Who'd no, want that? Nobody wants that. Nobody yeah. wants that. Come on now. Come on. Do you love they her? did her a favor. Do you love her? What does she look like? Me, shouts Lee. Wow, says Uncle. After lunch, Lee and Mama and Papa and Uncle and his friend Jess lay on the grass. The sun made everything warm. All take turns reading cartoons aloud to Lee. This panel features a bald male with glasses. A superhero with hair and x-ray eyes burst out. Which one to be? Today, Lee chooses to impersonate the superhero. And Lee knows what every superhero needs. A costume. So she makes a costume out of the materials in her house. She finds a long white shirt and gives it to Lee. Uncle finds markers. Lee draws a lightning bolt and circles it in orange, stripes on the collar. Jess wonders where the ghost sister is. Maybe Lee has forgotten about her ghost sister for a while. Ghost sister has her own things to do, Lee says. But she'll return if I call her. But it's time for superhero, and the adults clean the lunch dishes, and all is sparkling and neat. It'll be time to leave the cabin soon. Mama, Papa, Lee, and the ghost sister are about to head into the late afternoon towards home. Notice the toucan on the way out the door? The end. Mm. That is despicably evil this is one of the most evil things i've ever read but that is absolutely mama had an abortion because mama couldn't afford you might not have food on the table (laughs) they've indoctrinated the kid to be like gosh but mommy might get tired Mm -hmm. uh yeah that's what mommies get that's what mommies get that's That's what what daddies get that happens mommy's tired and mad right now Mm -hmm. It does occur, however, not that, a reason to kill a person. Not only that, but they've imagined that baby sister is happy being dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did her a favor to wipe her out. That's unbelievable. unbelievable. And by the way, this, I'm sure, Jeez. written by people who say that babies aren't babies, that it's just a lump of flesh. Well, then how is it a ghost? How yeah. is it a sister? Mm-hmm. You killed a baby. You're you're say you're telling your children you had a sister, but can you imagine what that does to your child's mind? Oh, by the way, you had a sister, but mommy didn't have enough money for food, and so mommy killed it. <laughs> well, God help me, I'm not going to ask mommy. I'm not ever right? going to tell mommy I'm hungry. Yeah, how do you know? How does the kid know he's oh not my next? Gosh, In that this little... is just evil. Where's that from? Um. Uh, Tiffany? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany wrote that? That's... Yeah, no, it is uh, Mary Walling Blackburn. And Is this, is this crazy? Uh, yeah, it's beyond crazy. So it's a new abortion book that is out. Tonight I'm Jeez. doing a special on All About Life because uh, I'm going to be speaking uh, up at the anniversary of Terry Schiavo's death. It has been, can you believe this, 10 years on Tuesday, it will be 10 years since she died. Mm. Um, and so I'm going to be speaking um, at the um, anniversary um, commemoration banquet, um, trying to raise money for for life, trying to raise money and awareness for we have got to start to value life. Look at what we're doing Look at how we're indoctrinating our children. 
It's sick. And what's the what's the? It's a book to like try to walk parents through how to talk to their kids about it. Yeah, Is no, that, it's, uh, it's a story. No, it's a storybook that you would read to your kids if you had an abortion. Mm-hmm. It's how you explain the abortion to your kids. That your your sister's just a dead apple, or a pig, or, or a pig. No, you can find your or sister there if you choose to make your sister a pig. She can be a pig, but she's a ghost because mommy and daddy chose to abort her because you were um, because you were expensive and tiring already. Yeah, you, we couldn't have another one. Well, no, because I, like I think she was aborted before he came along. Oh, okay. Lee came second, but but okay. the, the the thing that how Lee, dare apparently- you, you sexist, to say Lee was a boy. How do you know Lee wasn't a girl? That's a great point. Thank you. Um, uh, and a, she might be a boy that chooses to be a girl later. I, you're all right on all of these Thank points, you. obviously. Uh, it does seem that Lee has absorbed that it was essentially his fault, because at some point he would fight with his sister, and that would be bad for mommy, so therefore yeah. little sister's dead. That's a good lesson for the kid. Yeah, good, I think it's a good it thing seriously to teach is. Mm-hmm. Oh I also like the, uh, I like the uh, non-constrictive construct, that your sister can be anything. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I like that. be a nut. Could be a pig, could be a tree, mm-hmm. ghost. Although, I don't know. It, it does seem anything. like it'll be something that you're going to eat. Uh, that we can. <laughs> well, we can if mommy just that. aborted a pig, we should have eaten sister too. Mm-hmm. Mommy was growing a pig, so we killed it when we ate it. So you ate your little sister. Want to think that she was an apple? Or how about roast beef? Mm, it's a fetus falafel. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that is weird. It's sick and and evil. That's that's one of the sickest, most evil <laughs> your kids. things directed towards kids. I think we've featured outside of the Middle East. Yeah, yeah outside yeah, of the yeah. Middle East. Right. The Middle East does this kind of stuff right. all the time. Outside of Germany, mm-hmm. this is Nazi propaganda easily. Um, and easily outside of the scale. Middle East, this is absolutely sick. Just sick. We'll be posting today, if it's not already up there, where I'm going to be. Um, uh, I'm going to be in Philadelphia next Tuesday. Are you coming with me, Pat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, going up next Tuesday for the anniversary of uh, Terry Schiavo's death. And I would love to have you join us. Find out all the information at glenbeck.com or on my Facebook page. I'm sure it's posted up there as well. But uh, make sure you join me if you're anywhere in the Philadelphia area. This is really an important... I'm going to be giving some a little bit of history of this kind of, of where this leads. you probably um, bring in that as well. I might. I might. Because uh, that's fascinating. I mean, that, that shows you how far we've come. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, would you have believed that possible 10 years ago? I, I don't think I, I would, would have. have. I would have not from us, but I would have believed it because I've seen it in Nazi Germany. I've seen this kind of propaganda in Nazi Germany. You don't we normally really associate Nazi propaganda with the United States of America. Oh, yes, you should, yeah, because you should, it was the progressives yes. that taught it to the Nazis. True. And that's not me saying that. That's Goebbels saying that. Goebbels taught this to the Nazis. Scary stuff. Oh, Scary stuff. I was reading a book uh, for preparing for an interview, and th- they highlighted this article from Salon from 2013 that I didn't remember. But listen to this. Of all the diabolically clever moves um, uh, the anti-choice lobby has ever pulled, surely one of the greatest has been the uh, opti- co-opting of the word life. Uh, who wants to argue with that? Who wants to be on the side of not life? That's why the language of who, those who support abortion has, for so long, been carefully couched in other terms. Pro, uh, pro-choice, pro reproductive freedom. The life conversation is often too thorny to even broach. Yet I know that throughout my own pregnancies, I never wavered for a moment in the belief that I was carrying a human life inside of me. I believe that's what a fetus is, a human life. And that doesn't make me one iota less solidly pro-choice. Wow. You're killing a child. You're just, I mean, you're just admitting to murder. Uh, Tanya just texted me, and she has an alternate ending. Oh, okay. Okay. To the book? She says, yeah, I'm Mm. listening to the Ghost Baby book. She said, I have an alternate ending. (laughs) (laughs) Mommy should have kept her clothes on and her legs closed (laughs) if she couldn't afford to have another baby. (laughs) The end. Here's our sponsor. (laughs) Our sponsor is uh, uh, Square Trade. Right now, if you get uh, insurance for your uh, your cell phone, you're probably paying about 11 bucks a month if you're with AT&T, Verizon, or Sprint. $11 a month. Now, what do you get? If you drop your phone, you break your phone, or anything like that, then you get to pay about a $200 deductible, and the $11 that you've paid for the last 24 months 
covers the rest. Well, isn't that sweet of them? Stop overpaying. Overpaying The insurance companies that are giving you the insurance through AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint, they are working for those companies. This is another way for Verizon and Sprint and AT&T to make another boatload of money off of you. Go to Square Trade because Square Trade, they actually are working for you. That's why it's $5 a month with a... 